Hello everyone, at Westy Rail here again with this time at train, my first Train It Sim World 4 video. Currently here, as you can see, at Blackpool South in a class of 4 2 place in Skipper livery. 4 2 0 5 9. I've just driven this route from Ormskirk to Blackpool. We're going to be driving back from Blackpool South to Ormskirk today. So, very quickly, general view of the Blackpool South area. This is very desolate. Have areas where the station used to be, the station area, as you can see, um, very, very derelict. Um, to be fair, modern day Blackpool is also quite derelict. It's not too bad though, it's got Pleasure Beach at least. And over here, very nicely modelled Blackpool Tower. Behind some lovely modelled clouds here as well. I believe Lucas uh, helps with this, there's a lot of mods of sunset over Blackpool. Blackpool is normally quite gloomy as well, but surprising it's not raining, so we're going to set up. So first thing that will be the master key from here, and then the reverser. Top of us on the AWS on first, which is behind this AWS cover and isolation lever. Using my uh, plunger there. I love that word. So wide to unlock the left hand doors, so I have to make sure our headlights are set as well. Not sure, so we can load passengers now. This is a general view around the cab of this 142. Very nicely modelled. I do miss these in real life. I did enjoy them uh, 75 miles an hour from, from Carnforth towards Leeds via Giggleswick. It was a particular highlight at 75 miles per hour. Nodding Donkey Bin, of course, the name. A very busy train here. I don't see a lot of people heading home. More people heading away from Blackpool, which is uh, good to see. So we can set our destination blind before we go as well. Up. Very easy to wind up. There you go. Always oh, good. So Showing the outside. So one for two in a skipper skipper livery. So just about ready to go. So press Y to lock the doors. Unfortunately, no uh, guard closing the gate. However, that is a very nice feature. Everybody was in full there. There go. That would help. A very nice feature, as you heard there, it does include whilst it's not, the guard doesn't close the doors, and there's still a guard buzzer included, which is really, really a nice feature when the doors are closed. Bouncing the sign already. Slowly here, there's a really neat feature to show you. Just come on. I will just briefly stop the service and leave the cab quickly. Here's a nice look outside. But this is uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, a regular haunt of mine. See here we've got, um, yeah, see this is Grand National here, very nicely modelled indeed. Really, really well done. And then here we have the absolute names actually in real life roller coaster, which actually works. It's not drivable, but it does work. It's some low poly of the Just Trains developers here. Really, really nice feature. I've not seen it done in trains so well before. It's wonderful. And the, all the rides are correct for the era as well. Space Invader, you've got Big Dipper, and Revolution there in the middle. Revolution only having just opened um, when this was set. That's a really neat feature. And they'll come back again to Australian developers. Really, really interesting that feature. As a roller coaster fan myself, I really appreciate the effort going into that. And you've got flying machines as well and the casino in the background so along with the sea, which I will not be getting in. Just 
here and in the future there's a future site of Blackwood and Blue Station that's not open quite yet in the game and, but uh, in a couple of years after this race sets and uh, it is due to open. Let's get a quickly turn the objective sound off, which you can see on here in settings. I believe it should be in one of these somewhere. And it helps to see that see the menu as well, because it'll help you see what it is like. It should be somewhere. Let's see. Used to be in the old um, old menu. It used to be in here. Markers. Uh, it should, of course, be under audio. But um, being a trend so well, this is actually this is within the game. Uh, again, it's missing again. So that's fun. Just a brief look at the train symbol menu, which has not changed much, and um, perhaps getting a bit worse. It's not so easy to find settings like the one I was looking for just then. So we'll just quickly get us away from Squire's Gate. Chris makes a return, Chris the guard. So accelerate away again. And you can hear the Leyland TO11 engine kicking into life there with self-changing gearbox. Which is what Pace was originally developed with and of course which has come into engines due to lack of availability of spare parts later on. Let's well see here the evidence of the second platform here. Very long platform for the hay there being a hay on the branch line. Used, you can actually walk into it. Um, 
put it at this era is now it's just used, it's not done on a ship, but it has got a working interior. I say working, it um, can go inside it. Let's break down, so stop it. Lovely joint sounds. Now this station is the epitome of the uh, and the and the encapsulation of the decline of British Rail here. Just you can see the second of the old disused platform for the second platform on the left and the footbridge it sort of looks a lot different now. This is um, just before it was all demolished, literally about a year after it was decommissioned. So we'll have a better look in a second. But I love this is my favourite station on this route because they've captured it so perfectly. It's the decline of British Rail. In fact this station was still open during this. Very quick look here, I don't want to be too late. As you can see here on the second platform, is the, the detail that's got into this derelict um, toilet building here, out of order. I know, I am. Um, there's some Blackpool Wives graffiti here, obviously done by other Mark or Tom, who uh, feature over here as well. I don't want to get involved in that fight. You can see here at St. Anne's, uh, just the ultimate, I um, said so it's about a year after and the second line was decommissioned and this is set during when the whole station was being torn down unfortunately until the original features, you've got the old ticket uh, information here, your waiting rooms here, and the ticket office just over here as well. But in real life this has all been torn down and replaced by a much smaller building compared to what it is here. It's a real shame really. Let's get going again. I could be here all day. Is you can see the you see the suspension effects here as well. If I zoom in with zoom in zoom, just how wonderful that's looking. If I zoom in here, it's the furthest I can go. You can see that there. Sorry mate, you missed the train an hour for the next one. One and a half miles to our next station stop. And stone fair now. Objective sound. Very off button. Just 
Atmospheres, Chris, the gods. That's not been replicated in any other trains in Wild Group. Um, Whilst as I said, it would be nice the guard could close the doors. And still, uh, having a buzzer is just that little added touch that really makes a difference. So I feel like we are driving a, an old uh, Leyland bus. And that's the next stop. We will shortly be arriving at Lytham. So next station to stay a mile and it's the We got outside of the fantastic clouds, really, really nice clouds and sky effects now. In terms of the switch as well, destination lights. He says uh, destination work lights one feature. Uh, instrument panel lights and cab lights, cab heater, the buzzer of course, I'm going to show you. you can see there's a light here, they all work, which is nice. Lines. You've got a fan and some windows. Just click to open so it's not sort of hard to choose how far it's open, so it starts to pour it down. It's a little black old fashioned. Manchester, Blackpool, was your destination of choice. All the regular holiday excursion trains. Another cement mixer there. Another station being built. Brittany, let's have a quick look, walk around. I just want to show you that. You can walk quite far outside the station limits. It won't go too far. And you can see how sort of Lytham Town Centre area. And a lot of routes don't allow this, so you can go right up here. Something exciting. You can see the scaffolding. Don't get back on board, that won't be very popular in the office. Once it starts absolutely pouring down with rain, it would not be Blackpool without it. Thing that I was mentioning about God mode and what you can do with it. Uh, when you're up here to the environment settings, uh, I can now change this uh, to, to set my presentation with a bit of lag when it wants to load at some point. There we go. Worry there. I can now turn this down again. So I probably will actually turn that. And the clouds as well. So you can see there we can choose on the fly how much works. Things like sort of skylight intensity, which normally I set to 9.5. Of course, I'll the menu that I open the map. Very much better. And I'll break all this and set up presentation all the right down as well. Clouds all the way up. So uh, 50 mile hour left around the scope here as we head towards the Moss side. The next stop is Moss side. Right turn that white pop there. I normally uh, play Trends in World on three, um, triple monitors, so I generally get about 50 or 60 frames. And so it's nice to see so many frames on like such a high setting. So I do also use um, a modded engine.ini file as well, um, which from various sources, which really helps improve the game as well. I'm not a massive fan of Unreal Engine, but 
this implement to be relatively right now. Other games, not so well in this game. Most of the implementation I've been issuing. But the Just Trains team have done a really good job with the limitations they had to the base game. Barriers. That was the 80s. Let's get a screenshot here. Bus and leaf doors. So one thing I have noticed actually, a lot of passengers seem to disappear quite quickly. Like I don't think that many would get off at these intermediate shacks. I think that's because my passenger settings are quite high. We will shortly be arriving at Kirk and Wesham. So sure we have a little bit of time left. There's one good fellow also about the train too well. The lighting in here is spectacular. But as the sun sets, it is really, really nice.
if it wasn't a bit late, I don't think people would be more in time for that one. Oops. As you see, they have Richard's uh, wheel sets here. That's why they are so bouncy. Just going into Kirkham, red, so we'll just take it nice and easy. Nice feeling of Kirk and Western Station here. Again, it's had its heyday, this one. Now, if they're all, I don't think Kirkham does have this um, fast line loops now. I believe it's just, but it's been rationalised even further since this was set. Actually. It's going to stop very briefly again. I need to get that collectible. Got to get them all. Got to catch them all. Sorry, God. So that's uh, one of the things, you've got signs, so being better goes fixed, and that's in the buckets and spades, which is very cliche for a Blackpool route. And collecting gingerbread men, which I'm good at doing in real life. I think we'll be 
perfect stop. Right, let's try that again. It's very, very trenching well, that pedal stuff, I that was. Pressed uh, the wrong key there to so move around outside. I pressed W and that moved the reverser back into off. So that was good of me, wasn't it? Well done. For some reason the objective isn't counting down at the top left. I believe it possibly stems from trends some classic days where it was uh, one in the middle of it between them. They weren't going to say that it is now counting down. Obviously, I was going too slowly.
sure what they're building. Some sort of new road, it's not the M6, it's a bit too narrow for that. to platform number two. And off we go on our 75 mile an hour trip to London. Right, as a pace of rail to across the country, I'll be first on that. Not too bad for right now, but I'm gonna feel time now. It's about my shenanigans. So just like a very quick look around. It's not a little bit further back, doesn't matter. So one thing that you have these platform displays, display screws, which were uh, they were teased um, when the road was being before it was announced. So I said it's platform south. <coughs> oh yes, that's one new feature. Got to mention the guard's whistle and the horn sounding. So it's just a quick look. There, the, the guard's whistle, and then the driver's behind the horns for the first time. And train some world properly. <laughs> so, no, no, what's going on there? Yes, that was the that was London Eastern service. Quite frequent. Probably because of all the excursion holiday traffic.
Oh wait, Shanta here. Sounds really good. And a parcel service. This is it's not in operation now, the parcel sand, but let's see about back here it was. Of included stuff, which is really nice. That sounds pretty good. We're getting the proper north. One very quick thing as well the semi stuck, semi iconic footbridge as well. A lot of use of the service got arriving as well. So that's Preston, uh, let's go. The road and so up slope. Yeah. Yeah, up to course and uh, towards London and historically and um, up would be in the direction. Railway's headquarters, which more often not was in London, hence why we are going south on the upslope. So you can see up here, US, so upslope. Thanks for the bay platform. We use the train here as well. We have a seminar, I assume that um, those services are operated by uh, 86s. Seven, so I'm sure it is, terrible with that sort of thing. Of course, we don't have that in game yet. Perhaps an uh, interesting route in the future will be West Coast Mainline um, in that era. It might happen. I would like to see something modern next thing. A bit faster. Crosses over and crosses over the West Coast main line, just behind over here. Sorry, moo.
is Signal um, Romeo Delta 1 4. And it's be interesting because it's where we uh, hand over the token now, or sorry, collect the token from the signal right here. So I'm looking forward to that excitement in a few minutes' time. Mitchell station here. So the reason that we're cautioned that that signal is to allow, um, we're basically cautioned by the signal that to allow us to stop here and exchange the token for the signal line, even though we are quite significantly far down the signal line. Bobby, thanks for the signal. Thanks for the token. Get our way. I'll try and be on our way anyway. That's the wrong button. Let's ignore that. Cheers, anyway. Station stop is Croston. So we will shortly be arriving at Croston. The thing I've noticed um, is the popping in of sleepers, but that is unfortunately, um, I say popping in, it's really because of the shadow, but that's really a, that's a trend, so well, it's a problem. I don't know if a problem. One thing I will say is that some uh, Doctor Games routes um, do look very uh, cartoony for some reason. The lighting, but this route really does look realistic, super realistic in fact.
Five to Canoe, you'll be pleased to hear. Very pleased to hear our fans. So, Croston, Rockers, and Bassworth Junction, and Funny Hot to go. That's the sunset on our Pacer Adventure. See here if I can close the doors as the guard. There is a functionality for that. Really nice light in here. So what I need to do. So there is a door panel lock here. And then there is another panel lock here. And this will open this so we can check the doors. It's safe to clear. It's all clear to go. So we can close the doors. And lock ourselves out. That was a great idea, wasn't it? So I guess back in using this. That's better. Right, let's not do that again. Just to clarify, I've never done that in real life. So it's the local. If I close the doors now. Local open. I can open the rest of the doors even though we've already done that in this location. So press the door release. So I press the door close button. So that's potentially one issue the fact that the local door doesn't stay open. Unless I'm doing something wrong. So the doors are all closed, so I've I'll signal to the driver. driver so if I go back into my cab, into my hidey hole. Uh, I don't remember them being on. 
modern day problem and post modernization case. I've noticed the train is empty as well for some reason, nearly empty for some reason as well, which is interesting. There we go, so that's, that, that's basically the route map for this area. Very much in the countryside here, not much around at all. Right, so according to a developer, let's try this again, I'm going to close the doors from here. I'm going to reopen them. I'm not sure what that's not interesting. No, it's never happened before. Hmm. Oh, that would be very annoying if that keeps going off. close the doors again and then that happens again so that's great that's interesting because that is means that the door panel lock is on that's a really interesting feature so now as, as the guard we can release the doors release the bus doors here so that closes them again so I'd say what we'll do is at the next station stop messing about for the sake of it. We will shortly be arriving at Perska Junction. So Perska Junction. Not, uh, well, a bit further away than that, but make sure we don't exceed 15 miles an hour again.
that way. The next station again. stop is First Good Junction. That's good. The next station stop is First Good Junction. Go on, train, let's go. Oh, yeah, so here are all the NCBs as well. So um, AWS uh, NCBs are separate, so it's only one earlier on. Various other lights, heaters, mentioned like that, and etc. It's triple main lights, so that, that does work. Just about. Oh, so, yeah, because this safety device, I've now stopped training it successfully, so it's been messing around a bit. Interesting, I can't. So, you've got the lights here. I'm not sure how you turn on the night lights. Just headlights, normally, there's, a, there's a options for both. Still there, which it is, and get this collectible and this collectible. And that's fine, so we can open all the rest of the doors now. So, really, that's not registered as unlocking the doors, so I suspect I've still got the extra in the cab. There's a piece on. So, 
try and get another game that's actually registered that we have stopped here, so it was the local. seems to mess up the system, I don't know if we're doing it that way. The one thing I noticed is there's no, um, I like that as well, the fact that the, the buzz buzz actually uh, links here with the, the button being pressed, which is interesting. getting used to. You know, like if I was doing it in real life I'd get down to a T like the traction I work but this one unfortunately not at the moment. So now apparently to close everything but the local door you press the local door open button which closes the rest of the doors and uh, the bill has gone out and put this on the indicator lights gone out and we can jump back in. And then this door will close and now As we are the driver. That's better. I'm sorry for my messing around. We're nearly at all to
approach the bay platform at Ormsco. It does continue onwards and this connects to the emergency rail network, so let's just continue onwards beyond the bay here. Set the destination point back to Blackpool South. That's British Rail around there. Smooth stop there. We can set our tail lights. And a quick look here at Ormskirk. So, this is the Mersey Rail side of the station. You can see with the third rail here. And this is the old disused M2 platform here, but it's where services and they split. And as said, Mersey Rail travel from here towards Liverpool. There's a collectible in here, some golf clubs. Oh, that's another collectible. I forgot about that. James Blunt microwave, so I need to come back and collect those. And a bardic lamp as well. And it collects all right at the end of this Liverpool bound platform, so I will go back in in a second and just get that. And this decides to finish and let me finish the run. too bad. Not, not the worst, not the best. Not great, not terrible. So thank you for joining me and hopefully um, watch again soon. Thank you.